Hello there, my name is Christopher Cordova. I'd like to talk to you today about computer crimes and fraud and what the difference between them is. First off, I'd like to give you a preview of what I'll be talking about in this presentation. It's the definition of computer crimes and fraud and the different types of computer crimes and different types of fraud. While discussing some cases involving computer crimes and fraud, finally talking about some of the hackers across the world. Computer crimes, the legal exportation of computer technologies to support crimes of fraud, identity theft, sharing of information, and embezzlement. It's also an act performed by someone with knowledgeable computer skills, often called a hacker, that illegally steals companies or individuals' private information. Most often, computer crimes are not reported because people never learn they were victims of a cybercrime. There has been an estimate in 2016 that in 594 million people worldwide victims of computer crimes. Fraud. Fraud can mean intentional provision or of truth in order to induce another to part with something of value or to surrender a legal right. A person who is not what he or she perceive, pretends to be. Fraud can be anything from stealing someone's identity or stealing debit and credit card numbers. As defined in the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, fraud is access of a protected computer without authorization or exceeding authorization. Here are a few examples of different computer crimes committed. Internet sex crimes, solicitation, internet lureness, possession, and or distribution of child pornography, solicitation of a minor, cyber crimes include cyber attacks, information theft, hacking, phishing, theft of service, altering computer data unlawfully. Many people do not realize that there is a lot more to computer crimes such as different tools to access a person's computer. But here are a few different tools hackers use. Botnets. Use bots to steal personal information or to send spam. Spyware. Can read emails and text messages while also track locations and listen in on calls. Ransomware. Encrypts or locks digital files, folders, and drives. Viruses. Programs that modify someone's computer Programs usually sent by email. Worms are similar to viruses but use networks to infect the computer programs. Trojan horses tricks a person into downloading a harmless program, then activates a hidden code in the program which can release a virus and can infect the computer and steal personal information. And there are many different types of fraud, but here are a few examples. Finity fraud, advanced fee fraud, binary option fraud, high yield investment programs, internet and social media fraud, micro crap fraud, OMZ scheme, pre IPO investment scams, prime bank investment, promissory note, pump and dump schemes. Affinity frauds target members of identif identifiable groups such as other religious or ethnic community. Fraudists involved in affinity scams often are or pretend to be members of the groups. They may enlist respectfully leaders from the group to spread the word about the scheme, convincing them it is legitimate and worthwhile. Many times, those leaders become unwitty victims of the fraud they help promote. Advanced fee fraud ask investors to pay a fee up front in advance for exceeding profit, money, stock, or warrants in order for the deal to go through. The advanced payment may be described as a fee, tax, commission, or incidental expense that will be repaid later. Some advanced fee schemes target investors who already purchased underperforming securities and offer to sell those securities if an advanced fee is paid or target investors who have already lost money investment schemes. Protesters often direct investors to wire advanced fees to scout agents or lawyers to give investors comfort and to lend an air, an air of legitimacy to their schemes. Protesters also may try to fool investors with official sounding websites and email address. Binary option is a type of option contract in which the payment depends entirely on the outcome of a yes or no proposition and typically relates to whether the price of a particular asset will rise above or fall below a specific amount. Once the option is acquired, there is no further decision for the holder to make regarding the exercise of binary option because binary options exercise automatically. Unlike other types of options, the binary option does not give the holder the right to buy or sell the sick asset. When the binary option expires, the option holder receives either a prepaid, 
predetermined amount of cash or nothing at all. Pump and dump schemes have two parts. In the first, promoters try to boost the price of a stock with false or misleading statements about the company. Once the stock price has been pumped up, fraudsters move on to the second part, where they seek to profit by selling their own holdings of stock, dumping shares into the market. Other types of fraud. Business email com com compromise. A sophisticated scam targeting business workers with foreign supplies and companies that regularly pre perform wire transfer payments. The scam is carried out by promising comprom legitimate business email accounts through social engineering and computer intrusion te techniques to conduct unauthorized unth transfers of funds. Data breach. A leaker spilled data which is released from a secure location to a trusted environment. Data breaches can occur at the personal and corporate levels and involve sensitive protected or confidential information that is copied, transmitted, viewed, stolen, or used by individuals in order to do so. Denial of service. Interruption of an authorized user's access to a system or network typically caused with malicious intent. There are many cases of computer crimes and fraud, but I chose this case because it was a major case that involved 15 people in Gillette. The Gillette Police Department charged 15 residents on more than 250 felony courts. The investment started in 2011. Owner Batman, age 18, was first arrested on September 11th on 85 courts, 85 felony courts of financial crimes, which included Class A or, or, organizer of a continuing financial crimes enterprise, computer tampering, financial institution fraud, wire fraud, money laundering. Computer fraud, continuing financial crimes enterprise, conspiracy to commit financial institution fraud, conspiracy to commit theft by <clears throat> deception, theft by deception, and allowing use of a credit card by another. Officers later found more than 100,000 in fraudulent transactions, plus multiple AK-47 and MAC-10 assault rifles. Later, the police found out more, 14 more individuals were involved. Only six were arrested and charged, while the other eight have outstanding warrants. Here are a few more computer crimes and fraud that have occurred throughout the years. Computer crimes have been on the uprise in the past couple of years. In 1994, a 10 million hack occurred. A group of individuals from St. Petersburg, Russia, hacked into a major U.S. bank and recently stole money. This was believed to be the first online bank robbery. In 2010, the Secret Service arrested. 1,200 suspects of cyber crimes. There was 500 million actual fraud loss and 7 billion were prevented from being stolen. Finally, the infamous hackers across the world that were, that were charged with crime or computer fraud. Lucifer, who goes by Marcel Lee Lazar, best known for exposing the existence of Hillary Clinton's private email server. Ryan Collins, who hacked iCloud and leaked new photos of Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton online. Adrian Lamar hacked into the computer of New York Times in 2002 and changed headlines. Vladimir Levon broke into a CD bank and stole $10 million. Albert Gonzalez stole millions of personal credit card and debit card accounts. Gary McKinnon gained access to 97 million networks. Kevin Holson hacked into the LA phone network to ensure he won the prize from the radio show. The Syrian, Syrian Electronic Army hacked into many websites such as Facebook and Twitter and acted as they <clears throat> as profiles to get to put people's money online. Max Ray, Iceman Butler stole two million credit card numbers and had eighty six million in fraudulent charges. Computer crimes are known throughout the world and are becoming more and more aware and the FBI is doing more to stop them and have more software to identify the people who are identifying the people who are hacking and committing these crimes.